Now that we had this detailed first look at what Ionic is and which kind of tools it gives us, let's take a closer look at this Ionic ecosystem. And for that, let's go back to our starting point, which is that we want to build a web app um, with or without any framework. So in this course with Angular, but you could even build it with vanilla JavaScript or with React or Vue. Um, Ionic works with all these alternatives. So you're building this web app and you want to keep it as a web app, possibly a so-called progressive web app with these uh, cooler features, this uh, fast and reliable interaction. And you also want to have a native mobile app. And then you have this suite of web components, which look like this, which look like normal HTML tags, except for that they aren't. You then have your tools to convert this app and you have your tools for the development. So the Ionic CLI and so on. This is essentially what we saw in the last lecture already, but this is just another way of depicting it or of showing it on a slide. Now, of course, with that knowledge in mind, we can create an Ionic project and we'll do so in this section already. Now, this project essentially is all about our app, so about our code we write to create a nice web application, a nice website in the end. And that, of course, means we will write our own code. And again, that could be written in vanilla JavaScript or with any framework, like in this course, with Angular. So we add such a front-end framework, and that is optional. As I just mentioned, you could use vanilla JavaScript. And then we add the Ionic framework, so this set of Ionic web components, to get nice, rich web elements added to this app automatically or with very little effort so that the app already looks nice and has a lot of nice capabilities, which would be quite a lot of work to build on our own otherwise. So with that added and with a lot of cool functionalities added, therefore, we can continue. Now, as a side note, because that's already interesting to know here, the web components we're adding here, the Ionic web components, are built with a tool called Stancil. You don't need to learn Stancil to work with Ionic, not at all. And we will not learn it in this course. But if you want to learn how the Ionic web components were built behind the scenes, so if you want to know a little bit more about that, or if you want to build your own web components, which you can use in conjunction with your framework and with Ionic, then learning Stancil could be well worth it. And I do have a complete web component with and without Stancil course, so all in one course here on Udemy. So definitely check this out if you want to learn all about the technology the Ionic team used to build their Ionic web components, but that's just a side note. So these web components are built with Stancil and that is all done for you. You just add these web components. And in the end, you can then build different kind of apps based on your single code base, based on your app. And this is again done with Capacitor or Cordova, as I mentioned. In this course, we'll use Capacitor, which is a tool developed by the Ionic team. So we'll stay entirely in that Ionic world. And what this tool in the end does is it acts as a bridge between our web code, our web JavaScript code, and then the native platform we're running on. So that from our JavaScript code, we can trigger certain functions, which then in the end trigger native code on your device. So real native code there to, for example, open the camera, to get the user location, to show an alert or anything like that. This can then be done with real native code executed on your behalf without you needing to write it by tools like Capacitor or Cordova, which you can't even use kind of together as I'll also show in this course, but we'll primarily use Capacitor here. So this is what Ionic is all about. In this course, we will learn all about Ionic. We will do that with uh, Angular as a front end framework, and we'll also learn about Capacitor and we will then therefore build a progressive web app as well as our mobile apps. We'll not cover Stancil or anything like that.